This is just another GETS video. This one is of the newer extruded aluminum housing Harbor Freight charge controller. Inside it looks like a big jumbled mess of wires, but operational it's a fairly simple device. It's just uh, both, potential, both the low battery potential disconnect and the photovoltaic module cutoff are controlled by the little LM393 a dual operational amplifier down there. That's that dip 8 package device right there. Then there's a pair of 34063 uh, 1 ampere rated secondary uh, butt converter drivers and their inductors. One of them is for the 3 volt supply on the front. One of them is for the 9 volt supply on the front the USB 5 volt supply and the 6 volt tip sleeve or TS 1 8 inch connector all the things other than 12 volts of USB are 1 8 inch tip sleeve the two 12 volts are quarter inch tip sleeve are provided by I think a LM 2576 I think that's the part number uh, uh, buck converter driver right there, that's the TO220-5 device right there. This one here and this one here are IRFC 44N MOSFETs, one of which is for the low battery cutoff, one of which is the photovoltaic array cutoff. And it's also got the obligatory cigarette lighter receptacle, that's the on off button for the display, standard 5 volt driven LED single unit uh, electrical potential display fairly common you can easily get them from many places that is the main on off switch for the controller your little battery potential light even though it uses the commonly used but incorrect colloquialism there and on the back just your photovoltaic array input the 4 ampere ATC fuse right there Although the stock one is really kind of crappy, and I had one blocked just from the inrush current of a pair of 12 volt uh, rechargeable cell chargers, even though they are combined only draw about 2 amperes at most, and they're connected to your battery. Fairly simple. And the insides of your the 12 volt lamps that it includes DC 12 volts, 5 watts, and the polarity so if you don't know what that weird symbol on the side of it is polarity, the dot is the center contact and the kind of symbol right there, that is the shell of the lamp holder, your standard Royer oscillator and the really big transistors because this is much higher primary transformer current than a 120 volt lamp hence the bigger transistors and this one's a somewhat simpler design than the lamp I reviewed earlier because the base drive transformer is part of this it, there's no separate transformer and you can see that the lamp design is a ripoff of the Philips SL series this is not one of the really old nice Dutch made glass ones this is a February 1992 vintage uh, plastic electronic ballasted one. Took it out of a neighbor's house because of weight concerns in a light fixture they had. Replaced it with a 60 watt garage door lamp. So, that's what you get with your rubber fake kit. Along with the battery leads and your two lamp holders with little quarter inch tip sleeve connector and little other connectors buried somewhere in this mess. And those are just the screws that hold the top of the cover on. So, that's it.